What's up creators? I'm Jason Kyle from the Creators Writing Room. Welcome back to our channel where we lower the ladder to help you break into this sometimes, and by sometimes I mean pretty much always, insane business of ours. In this video, Lee and I are discussing cold opens, also referred to as teasers. We'll walk you through an example of a very strong teaser using the pilot of the HBO show, Barry. When writing your own pilots, the goal of your teaser is to get out as much information as you possibly can in a timely, efficient, and non-clunky way. Stay tuned until the end of the video and I'll tell you how you can join us live for the next episode of Copilots. Plus, I want to apologize for what my face was doing in this video. It wasn't, you'll see what I mean. With Jason and Lee. Okay, oh, man, a lot, a lot happening there. Yeah, uh, a lot happening with before even the first line of dialogue. All right, look up, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you let's know, talk they, about, yeah, let's talk about that very first image we see. Okay, the first, well, you see him walking out of mm -hmm. uh, the bathroom mm -hmm. uh, and a brilliant, you know, pan mm -hmm. to reveal the dead body, mm -hmm. you know, bullet hole. And then you see, you learn right away that he's a hitman. Mm -hmm. And then in the next cut, you see that he's kind of uh, not a very successful hitman. Mm -hmm. He's sitting in the middle seat mm -hmm. in, in coach. And then you see that he lives in a shithole mm -hmm. and he's got a very empty life. Um, he spends his time playing video games. So even before the dialogue starts, even before he says, maybe I need a break or something, mm -hmm. we see about this character that this is not somebody who's enjoying his work. This is mm -hmm. somebody who's kind of burnt out. This is come somebody who's kind of hit a dead end. Uh, you also learn in the first pan around his apartment that he's a veteran. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is a lot of information that you've got. You've established your main character. And in the dialogue scene, you've started a story. That's a whole lot to do in a, uh, in a cold opening. Right. And it certainly gives the audience a reason to want to stick around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. a couple, yeah, a couple of things that really stood out, Lee, is and you hit on it right. Um, right away, we understand Barry's emotional state as a character. The fact that he doesn't even look at the body when he walks out shows that this is kind of business as usual for him, right? The fact that what if you or I walked out of a bathroom and we saw a dead body there, we'd have a very different reaction to it. So we understand his emotional state, and yeah, and that, that he's a hitman. Then he's on the plane. We understand that his emotional state. He he's very timid, right? You would think as somebody who might be a badass hitman might tell this guy what the fuck, roll the window up. But instead he was just like, okay, I got to deal with this. And we see him at home in a crappy apartment and his life sucks. Mm -hmm. So we've got, you know, we've got sympathy for the guy, even though he's a hitman. Mm -hmm. um, and we know what he wants immediately. We know he wants something more out of life. He mm -hmm. wants a change. He wants mm -hmm. a break. So you're, we're, we're starting on this journey Mm -hmm. the character and we already know you know what his goal is we don't know specifically Lee, let's talk about because i think we had I, I think we had something very telling in there when it comes to when we introduce the fuchs character and the dynamic of their relationship what what do we know right away number one we know the power dynamic right the status in that relationship the way fuchs is talking to barry um, we know based on the dialogue, there's like some level of coercion when it comes to Fuchs and he's kind of coercing Barry into doing things that Barry doesn't seem like he really wants to do. He's talking about extra, extra expenses. There's one thing that really stood out to me and that helped us understand the dynamic and what they probably both want when Barry says, or no, Fuchs says, um, we're getting closer to, to hanging it all up. And Barry says, yeah, when do you think that'll be? And before he finishes that sentence, Fuchs jumps right in and says, okay, well, we're going to Los Angeles, right? Right. Uh, you know, Fuchs is uh, equal parts exposition and mystery. Mm -hmm. You know, you're setting, because we don't know who he is. We don't mm -hmm. know who he works for. We don't know. All we know is for some reason, he is uh, the guy who gives Barry assignments. Mm -hmm. And we also know he's a cheap motherfucker. <laughs> Right, and this he, he doesn't want to he doesn't want to hang it up as bad as Barry does. Pardon me. And he doesn't want to hang it up and retire as bad as Barry does. No, yeah. no. 
Uh, but Fuchs knows that that's what Barry wants, so he dangles the mm -hmm. carrot. Yeah. Get us a lot closer to where we need to be to hang it all up Sunday. Well, when do you think that'll be? So just to recap, Lee, we talked about this on our last couple of episodes. In this teaser, this teaser was done beautifully well because it, it allowed us an introduction into the character's sort of normal status quo emotional state, right? Kind of where they're at in life. Um, really no defining catalyst, although it's been somewhat introduced by, we know they're going to LA. That's all we know of right now. And then it introduced a, a, a relationship dynamic. Um, all of these things were done very efficiently in what, three minutes maybe? Yeah, we know, we know he's a hit man. We know he's burnt out. We know he's, uh, money is a problem. Mm -hmm. We know he's a veteran. Mm -hmm. We know he wants to hang it up. Mm -hmm. And we know he's got no life outside of being a hit man. You know what else I like too is, is we know where they are. I mean, it's, it's, he's in like a crummy brick apartment complex and it's snowing outside. So we, that adds to the effect of, well, this guy's life, you know, kind of sucks. And then it's nice when he, when he brings up the fact that they're going to sunny LA. If we didn't have that quick cut of it snowing outside, we wouldn't really know where they are. So when you're, you know, from a writer's standpoint, um, you know, I read a lot of things that people write and you know, a pilot will just start off with a whole, uh, just a number of people doing a number of things and you don't know why and you don't know what their relationships are to each other. And they say, well, yeah, you got to keep reading to find out. But there's nothing to make me keep reading. Right, right. This this opening teaser, Lee. What if this is on paper? It makes you to it makes you want to read further. Exactly. And every every choice that you make as a writer, when you put something down, whether it's a, a especially this is a great example, whether it's a stage direction or a line of dialogue, mm -hmm. have a reason. If what you're putting down on paper is not pushing your story or your character forward then you don't need it, no matter how clever it is or no matter how cool mm -hmm. you think the shot is. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to have a reason for it to be there. Yep, very good point. And that, right. this is very economically written. Mm -hmm. Thank you everyone for watching. For full length episodes of Co-Pilots and The Pitch, join our Patreon. You can find a link in the description below and make sure you like and subscribe and comment below. Right, Lee? I, I don't see anything down there. No, no, no. I see yeah, nothing. Yeah. No, it, it's it's going to be on their screen. There's going to be the buttons that they can put on their screen. It's not going to be below your your computer. Well, then, but I can't do it. Then you're saying I'm left out. Well, we're on the channel already. Do you need to subscribe to our channel? We want other people to subscribe. Well, I need to know what's going on on the channel as well. Yeah, but they know. You don't need to know. They know. Just I'm can't can't I like it? I think we're doing a good job. Just please somebody like this video. I don't beg. Co-pilots on TV. Co-pilots with Jason and Lee.